Hello everyone, here is Matthias and Matthias, the dream team from Trademo, M&M. &M. Um, yeah, how was your weekend, Matthias? Uh, fine, fine. I went uh, to the stadium to watch my favorite football club, or no, soccer club. In soccer the club, okay, and they yeah. won or not? Yeah, of course they won. <laughs> of course, okay, <laughs> great. <laughs> Okay, but back to topic. Today we want to talk about um, the euro dollar and oil, so crude oil uh, specific. And in euro dollar, I will open the chart here so you can see we had in the past a nice head and shoulder pattern here. And right before the call, Matthias mentioned there is another head and shoulder pattern. And so I will give you here 10 seconds to think about it. So maybe you can find the head and shoulder pattern yourself. If you need more than 10 seconds, you should watch the head and shoulder course. Yes, or you, sh <laughs> or you can uh, press the stop button, of course, <laughs> and then you can cheat. <laughs> but for now, yeah, I, I will give you the, the answer here. So this was the first head and shoulder pattern, shoulder, head, and shoulder and now we have another head and shoulder pattern so this is the left shoulder this is the head and this is the potential right shoulder but there are, of course is another thing we have to mention here from the head and shoulder pattern in the middle the small head and shoulder pattern i would say the neckline here is very important currently because we are yeah rejecting at this level of 118.50 or 118.60 and this could be a nice short entry for a trade yeah against euro dollar so maybe the dollar is strengthened and euro is weakening what do you think about this uh, trade or trade opportunity i would say yeah basically uh, based on just the chart i would say it's short but to be honest uh, the last weeks I'm not really involved into this forex pair. I don't know, I can't, I can't really explain why. Sometimes I'm more involved because I'm trading it by myself. Right now I'm not trading it, so basically I can't really say like if it's the best idea to go short, but really based on what we see here right now, I'm short biased, wouldn't mm -hmm. go long. Yeah, I absolutely agree. And uh, the, the first potential take profit, do, what do you say, what do you think, what can be the next take profit, the potential next take profit? Um, for if, if we position ourselves short, I mean, we basically are short position, just yes. to mention it. Mm -hmm. um, I would say one, the 170. Yes, yes, I absolutely agree. So maybe 160, 70, but 117, of course, should be also fine. So let's draw the line here to 117. And yeah, it, it looks like a nice take profit for a short trade here. So I absolutely agree. I mean, every time we reach the 117 area, we we really rejected it. Yeah, many um, times in the past. The weeks. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And then our next thing we want to discuss is the, um, the oil chart, the oil future. So let me just explain it to the listeners and watchers. So we had a nice downtrend from, they are starting from February or March this year. So with lower lows and lower highs. And this downtrend ended in yeah the mid of September. We, we broke the yeah, down line here. So the, the downtrend line. And then we are rising from almost 45 up to 52 and there we have a resistance level now um, we are facing to it and today's today's candle is with a long 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 uh, wick on the upside so this means maybe yeah we see more falling prices in in the next few days what do you think about this yeah i mean if we uh, if we have this reversal candle today um, it also is a potential lower high, which then means yeah we can like see a new downtrend maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, it's a short. I'm positioned short um, with with a sold option. Mm -hmm. you, um, you you sold the call option, I think. Yeah, I sold the call option. Which strike? Just really well. Which strike do you choose? I've chosen. Need to. 
um, 65, uh, 56, sorry. 50, um, 65 would yeah. be a nice one by, without any nice premium, but yeah, 56 looks pretty nice, but how was the implied volatility at this time you, you bought this or you sold this uh, call option? Was it I was really low, like, I think like around 20 or 30 percent. Mm, okay. So yeah. I really, I just sold one for a really small premium. Um, and to keep me the possibility to like manage the trade and roll it. And you can also scaling in uh, if the volatility jumps. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and, yeah and, of course. And for all the people who are interested in oil and maybe want to open a short position, the next good take profit level, I think you can draw a take profit level around, yeah. 46 uh, but the main support is here on 42 or 43 close to 43 um, should be a nice take profit if you want to go short right now but of course this is not a recommendation this is just a discussion about the the technical analysis here regarding the oil future chart okay yeah i would say that's it so if you have any questions or suggestions then please let us know um, write us to support at premium, uh, sorry, support at um, And of course, you, you can ask us all your questions right below the video here on Facebook or YouTube, wherever you watch it right now. And yeah, that's it. That was Matthias and Matthias from Tradio. Have a nice day, guys. Bye. Bye bye.